Hey, I'm Kango Kid, member of one of the first nationally recognized rap groups called UTFO, made popular by a song called Roxanne, Roxanne. My name is Tajiri, former dancer for Shaheem the Rugged Child, uh, Wu-Tang Clan affiliate, and retired correction officer. Look who it is, she's clapping for me, my niece, hi family. My friend Kango is coming into the office today with his wife Tajiri to talk about surgery. I don't care about you guys, I just want to see this beautiful. I'm here to see Dr. Jones to get my boobies done, to make me feel better about myself when I'm walking in my two-piece on the beach. So this is what I gotta do, like trade boobs for babies? Boobs and babes, is that what's going on? Yes. I'm a mother of three girls, and Kango had three boys from his previous marriage. We were like the black partridge family. Brady no. Bunch, Brady Bunch. Let's do that again. Look who oh. I found. Look at oh. that cutie. Look at this that is Kango and Tajiri's baby. Is that right? Yeah. Think we could do another one of these? I would love another. Absolutely. Wrong answer. That's the wrong answer? <laughs> oh. Sorry. You would think they would put her in that baby mode, like, oh, honey, let's go have a baby. It does not. Hey, hey. What's going on, man? Oh, you sharp. Mike yes. Jones. Michael. <laughs> so whenever someone says, Mike Jones. Michael. Trust me, it's going to take off. It's, 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 it's all going to take off. Watch. All right. Mike Jones. What happened? All right, so Kathleen told me a little bit about what's going on but I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. I have had issues with my breast since a young child. Should I just go ahead and put it out put there? Put it out there. Okay, I have one that's inverted and one that's out, which he was sweet enough to name Innie and Audi. Yes, the right, your left is an Innie, and the right is significantly out. It's something that I was embarrassed for many years. Kang was the first person I felt comfortable sharing that with. Now this one is very extreme, is the mm -hmm. opposite extreme. I think it took the other ones, yeah. When I examined her, I could tell that this was gonna be a lot harder than what I had thought it was going to be. A couple of things. This one will likely never be as everted as the right, because the right is kind of overdone. In Tajiri's case, she has probably one of the most complicated nipple situations that I've seen during my career. And on one side, she hasn't really experienced any sensation because it's been sucked in. On the other side, she's very protuberant. So you might even want to consider reducing that one a bit, either at the same time or after we get this one to Ebert. When I walked in the room, I thought it was gonna be just a routine breast augmentation. But when I examined her, I could tell that this was gonna be a lot harder than what I had thought it was going to be. Your left is an any and the right is significantly out. One side that had a nipple that was sucked in, it's called an inverted nipple, and the other side was a very protuberant nipple, almost floppy in nature. Fix me, fix me, to do it now, just fix me. Every individual person would be lying if they said there wasn't something about them they would like to fix. We all have those issues and this was mine. Okay. Take a look at yourself on profile. That's one option. You can put this on the other side and then turn is it the same size. This is actually larger. This, this is, is larger. You can tell. This is 100 cc's larger. This one. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> now, I, I agree. Almost none of my patients wake up and say, "Doc, you made me too big." They, okay. but they will wake up and say, "Hey, I wish I had gone bigger." And what cup size would that be? That's probably going to end up making her a D. Okay. We'll take this one. <laughs> we'll take two. All right. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see the husbands in the room when we're giving the patients the sizers to play with. They love to pick the biggest sizer and say, hey, honey, here, try this one on. Can I be there during such? Family members always want to be in the operating room with us. It just can't happen. You cannot be in the operating room. Darn. Now, we have been incorporating this very new, well, it's an app, what? where we have been filming it. We now have these streaming apps that allow us to stream what is happening in the operating room out to the world, out to the family members, to see what's going on in the operating room. And we cannot do that unless we have their permission and consent. Their family and loved ones are watching it while it's happening live. They can't be in the operating room, but you can at least be a part of what's going on. All right, it was great a pleasure meeting, meeting you. you so much. And Kango, it was a great seeing Same you again. Same here, man. Thank you, man. 
Now that Tajiri's done with her consultation, I guess my babysitting services have to come to an end, sadly. I think I qualify for the job. Yes, you do. She is sound asleep. Oh my God, oh, I nice. feel more comfortable being with Dr. Jones because with Kat and Kang being so close, she's gonna make sure I wake up. That's all I'm worried about. Just slap me a few times, do what you gotta do, but bring me up. I had no idea that Jerry had really been struggling with unevenness in her breast for many years and it had affected her self-esteem. You're in good hands. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I'm a little nervous, but extremely excited. Um, I've been wanting this done for a long time, getting my boobies today. <laughs> good morning, good morning, Hi, good morning. Joe. Today is Tajiri's surgery, and she has been waiting a long time for this procedure. How are you? I'm great. Well, let's, uh, let's get started. For you, it's actually a little challenging. You have the inverted nipple on the left, and the very prominent nipple on the right, there's some issues. Mm -hmm. It's very unusual to have one that's inverted and one that's protuberant. Usually they're either both inverted or both very protuberant. This is not gonna be an easy case. And turn a little, perfect. And this is gonna be the incision that we're using to get the implant in on this side. I love me. But everything that I've always been, my good, my bad, whatever happens, it's me. It makes me who I am. And this will just show that other part of me that I haven't even got to meet yet. I'm just really happy to see what this part of life is going to be like. So what's your favorite drink? We can have a cocktail on the beach. You sound a lot like Obama. Have you ever been told that? No. <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> The medicine has to be working. If she thinks I sound like Obama. So you see, you can actually see, there she is. And they're just getting ready to start. I'm really glad that we were able to offer this app that allows them to stream the surgery as it's happening to Kango, because I think he was a little nervous. Just seeing that she was okay, I think it definitely made him feel a lot better. Was she nervous or she was good? She was nervous this morning. Was she? Of course, yeah. very prayerful yeah. today. Well, prayer's a good thing. You know you're in good hands. It's definitely going to be a challenge. Um, she's quite asymmetric, and there's an unknown. You just don't know what you're going to see until you get in there. So now we're going to just open up the pocket, open up the attachments of the pectoralis muscle. Well, she's going to get um, 450 cc implants. It's going to take a little effort. That just fits for her. During all of our breast augmentations, we like to sit our patients up. That way we can get a good, realistic sense of symmetry. We lift them up because obviously when you're laying down, you're not in the position that you would be in when you're standing up. So we want to kind of get a sense of what reality is going to be for them. So we can, but she looks pretty good. These look um, kind of big. You see, mommy? Technology is crazy, man. The implants are in place. Now it's time to move on to the reconstructive part. And this is the part that I'm a little concerned about. The confounding problem is that she has these asymmetric nipples. On the left side, one of the nipples is inverted. It's actually sucked in and just doesn't want to come out. We've gotten that nipple to evert. You know, these nipples are being sucked in by such severe scar tissue and fibrosis of the ducts. Just can't seem to get through this one duct here, so. So this one band may be a problem because it may lead to re-inversion. And so we really got to release this, this band. There we go. So one hurdle down, we've got this one side out and it looks really good. Now we have to go to the other side and we have to trim that nipple back so that it matches and they look a little bit more symmetric we're gonna to try to at least create the same level of projection. All right, so we're all done. She did fantastic. We've got good height on this nipple and we reduced this one adequately, so I think she's gonna be happy. All 
right, my man? Oh, man. Dr. Jones, thank you, man. We had done everything that we set out to do, and to go out and to deliver that news to Kango was really a very humbling and exciting experience. They looked a little bigger than you said they were gonna be, am I correct? <laughs> they're gonna settle down. Okay. And they're gonna fit her well. This is something Tajiri's been wanting to do for umpteen years. I absolutely want this for her, and uh, I look forward to her getting exactly what she's dreamed of. Prior to the surgery, I would never have shown my breast to anyone. Like, it's, that was my embarrassment. Those who were closest to me didn't even know. Tajiri's coming back in for her surgery follow-up today, and you know what that means. Auntie Kat gets to babysit again. I just came to steal you. <gasps> Kathleen, as I've said, is like my baby sister, and I absolutely trust her. I want to teach you something. Before you go back to daddy, you have to learn how to say cat. Can you say cat? Cat. Tajiri, how are you doing? I'm great. When I was able to first take the surgical bra off and look at them in the mirror and say, wow, the nipples are straight, the breasts are bigger, my boobies are bigger, I was so excited. They're great, they're yeah. great, yes, I love them. Now, I am just overjoyed at how happy Tajiri is. Soon you'll be able to show them off and- I can't wait. Yeah, I'm working on security now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to go from being afraid to kind of disrobe in front of her significant other to this now very confident woman, it's a wonderful sight to see. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? That's Yay! great. I'm happy to see that they are exactly what you wanted them to be. You're very well. Look, look, look at that. No, look, look at that. that. Or oh, whatever. It was a challenging case. I really wasn't certain of how it was going to turn out, but she looks fantastic. All right, Thank man. you. You made her so happy, man, for real. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I'm amazed at how well they did. I never thought that they would be this great, and I'm so happy at the job that was done. <laughs> Look, Look at you! Look at that. Hey, guys. Hi, girl. The hardest thing is getting that baby, their beautiful baby, away from Kathleen. I see her say cat. Cat? She's like, wait a minute. <gasps> no, that was cat. Yeah, you nailed it! <laughs> Try this one on first. Be okay. right back. So today is Tajiri's birthday, and I'm throwing her a surprise boob day party. She gets to show the girls off for the first time among family and friends. This is my first boob day party. <laughs> and I wasn't exactly sure of what to do. You know. Like, how do you dress for a boob day party? Exactly. That's cute. Great. Okay. Really? You get a new set of boobs, and all of a sudden you lose track of time. I like the skirt. So which one do you like better? I like the black one better. I'm thinking the same thing. Having my new boobies, I'm so happy with them. I put on my clothes. I don't need my chicken cutlets. I don't need my pads. Now I'm going to rip my shirt off and shake my tatas for the world. I can't wait. Oh my God, Tajiria looks amazing, beautiful, and I'm jealous. So Kango, you're blessed and you're lucky with the boots. She's back. It's back in tech and she looks wonderful. So I have one more surprise for your surprise boob day party. Oh. Are those light <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Cut it right where the doctor cut me at. Right where Dr. Joe. Right where the oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> can't you see her dancing? As for what this has done, it's taken her to a whole nother level. Her confidence is off the meter. This right here is the breast cake I ever had. She's ecstatic. Oh, yes, Ooh. yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Who wants a nipple? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's all kinds of things that can make women not feel great about themselves. So it was really nice to be able to make a difference and to see her light up. And Kango was like beyond happy. Ma. 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 <laughs> their happiness, their joy, their love is contagious.